Vectron is asking the state to approve an increase in its rates. A series of hearings by the Public Utilities Commission is giving people an opportunity to be heard. Two News reporter Judith Rattana is in Sydney with what customers there are saying. The last of three public hearings was held here at Sydney City Hall this evening. Veterans says they need to charge more money to pay for infrastructure improvements, but people speaking out here tonight say they're asking for too much money. Cold nights have many of us turning up our thermostats. If a request by a veteran is approved, it could cost you more to warm up. John Laws testified against the raise at a public hearing Wednesday night. A lot of people on fixed incomes are struggling now. And a lot of them can't pay bills. I try to pay all my bills. We use less gas. We try to put a sweater on running around the house. He spent time doing the math on his bills. My monthly charge now runs roughly at $28 average over the year. I have one, a bill right here with me that's only $18.30. According to a staff report from the Public Utilities Commission of Ohio, the gas company's current fixed monthly charge is about $18 a month. Vectron wants to increase that rate to $35. Staff recommends scaling it back to $30. And when I seen that $35 minimum charge, I, I didn't go through the ceiling, but I thought about it. Vectron is also asking for an increase of $7 for every 100 cubic feet of gas customers use. Staff recommends that increase be closer to $250. It's been since 2007 since Vectron has had a rate increase. And in that time frame, we have invested over $700 million in infrastructure improvements. Vectron says the increase will allow for even more improvements, but that still makes some customers uneasy. This cost is just too much, too much. While the staff report does recommend some adjustments to veterans' proposals, it's the Public Utilities Commissioners who have final say on what the increase could end up being. The commissioners are holding a public hearing next week in Columbus with Vectron. In Sydney, Judith Rathana, 2 News, working for you.